uh, you know, because we have last Friday out here in the streets of Hillsboro, so it is pretty festive, Bob. Yep, yep. We walked back behind uh, Spiral Studios, and Spiral Studios was opening up a uh, a shop in the back. If you go in the back of Spiral Studios, which used to be just a stock room, now they have a new store there where they're selling metaphysicals. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but right. there's, they say they're selling them, and they have tarot readers, and they have crystals, and so... Because sometimes you gotta wash your hippies, I guess. Um, Michael, well, uh, you use metaphysical, you are sir. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> do you use metamusic? Metamusic? We won't go into that. <laughs> one. I think they're related, are they? <laughs> anyway, y'all come down for last Fridays. There's all kinds of good stuff going on. We've got a great show going on here. After this, there's uh, the Hillcasters over at Yonder. There's poetry readings up at Tom Stevens Studio. Um, JP and Leon are playing over at the uh, Colonial Inn. We've oh, got no kidding. Uh, arts oh. and crafts folks setting up all around the courthouse square and some on the sidewalks here and there. And apparently a young kid named Atlas. He, oh, y'all, if you're walking through downtown <laughs> Hillsboro <we> <laughs> right now, no, there's a little, there's a two year old boy, bright red hair. And I'm telling you, were his parents not there, I just would have scooped him up and just, you know, shown him art tonight. His name is Atlas. He's adorable. At Blow him kisses. Yes. With At a T. There's a T in there. It's not Atlas. He is such a charmer. Watch your daughters because he is already adorable. Well, everybody, we uh, did um, blather on a little bit, but we started blathering early. So, Michael, we're right, <laughs> right on time now. Poor Michael. Uh, uh, so if you'd like to throw in and uh, play us a song, whatever you'd like to play, we'd love to hear. Thanks. In the first line of the song, there's a bird. Excellent. Okay, just, just good saying. planning. You knew the assignment. This is a, a song I wrote called Mountain Glory. It's an ode to my home state of West Virginia. pathways through the teardrops in my eyes we have shared our yesterdays I see you when I can when you give me your embrace you hold a thankful man we've had to say goodbye way too many times I wish to stay grow stronger with every hill I climb And though I must go away I'll return to my place of birth My lifeline will pull me home From anywhere on earth Here comes the mountain glory And it's rolling through my heart And pulling at my soul I listen to the ancient story A tale that tells me what makes me whole Mountain glory I had to go to soothe my soul And march to the beat of a different drum I had to prove there was a goal And I remember where I come from it's from the mountain glory And it's rolling through my heart And pulling at my soul I listen to her ancient story A tale that tells me what makes me whole Mountain glory
Michael Paris live here in the studio. Thank you all. Michael, Michael what kind of guitar is that that rang out so long? What this is a, um, a Martin D18. Yeah. It's 47 Classic. years old. I bought it when it was three months oh, old. Oh, there you go. <laughs> really? So, yeah, so it's been aging with me. It's doing a better job. But um, Yeah, that's... So the D18 means it's mahogany, I guess. It is. Yeah. And when I bought it, it was the most expensive thing I'd ever purchased in my life. Well, boy, it, uh -huh. it grew mm -hmm. up real pretty. Yep. I have a studio full of equipment and musical instruments, and uh, I have a son, uh, Matthew, and I asked him a couple years ago, is there anything in the studio that you want? He goes, the Martin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're disowned. <laughs> now, I don't want to uh, start a fight or anything. I kind of do. Um, the people I have heard uh, wax poetic the most about West Virginia are people who don't live there anymore. Yeah, the joke is the last one, I'll turn off the lights, you know. Uh, do you go back? Do, is it an enjoyable place when you go back? Do you... it is, most of my family still lives there. I have oh, great. A, I have two brothers and a sister that still live back in my hometown area. So there are redeeming qualities? There are. Uh, yes, there are. <laughs> but it, it's, it's a beautiful state, and I, I spent almost my first 30 years there before I escaped. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've, I've been in North Carolina now for almost 30 years. So you went to the university up there too? I, I did. Read? I went to Morgantown or West Virginia University in Morgantown, Morgantown huh? and my little hometown was named Star City. I have a song later that is about that. Excellent. But uh, we're divided by a sign between the two towns, and I lived at home while I uh, went to college. Not the best thing I ever did in my lifetime, but that's a whole other story. There, <laughs> there's a book there. Pardon me if I tune a little bit because I beat everything out here, but. I like the state. I, I love the state, and um, I've going through my repertoire recently, and I have about twenty-five songs I've written that have ties to West Virginia. How about wow. that? I did not realize that. I do a lot of retrospective writing where I kind of look back and find songs mm -hmm. in my sort of in my past. I, I apologize for the tuning, guys. We no like one tuning. Ever does that. This is the first time it's ever happened. Yeah. Nobody ever does Today. it enough. <laughs> What's the joke we tune because we care? Sorry, I'm talking and I'm tuning the wrong string. So, um, <laughs> well, we, well, I'm we don't just mean trying to, be to determine you. how into what corner of my car that guitar fits. <laughs> Without Michael noticing. Yeah. Um, it's really kind of funny because I have some songwriter friends that use multiple capos on the neck, like two or three capos mm -hmm. at the same time. We have seen it. They, and, need, uh, they need counseling, those people. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of agree on that. But it takes them forever to kind of get in tune. Okay, it's sounding good. I'm sorry, folks, I'm having a little trouble here. I, I apologize for take this. Take your time. Tell us a story, Kim Lane. That's supposed to be it. <laughs> well, so, I just wanted to congratulate all the parents who are listening tonight. You got your kids back for a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm how so happy does, for how you. How long does it take to debrief or defuse when you uh, get a vacation from teaching? Truthfully, about three days. Yeah, that's what it, I was thinking. It takes uh, at least a day or a good sleep to, for my ears to stop ringing yep. because schools are concrete. And, and I work with 800 children. Mm -hmm. Um, they should be padded. I no, think they should. should be, should. Should I think be rubber. ready now. <laughs> so, Michael, <laughs> were you were you tuning into some uh, exotic uh, no, tuning? I just have a drop D, and apparently I was just tuning the wrong string. That happens occasionally. <laughs> he dropped that, the that's D. That's telling me I should be wearing my glasses. So, I just, just <laughs> yeah, saying. it sounded like an open tuning. So, great. I will be doing open tuning later, which will take me another minute to down tune to an open D chord. That's what I've written some songs that way. But for my songwriter friends out there, I know you guys appreciate that. So. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for another one? Take it away. Okay, this is a song that was inspired by a little cafe in Bailey, North Carolina. And I call it the Blue Teapot Cafe. There's a little cafe in a little town just off a little road It's a friendly place Just come on down 
and burden your heavy load. When you walk through the door and get a creak from the floor, it takes a step back in time. There's a grandfather clock with the loudest tick tock. It plays you a resonant chime. There's a feast for your eyes as you gaze at the room. A thousand teapots on the wall. Every color and size, each one an heirloom. Thirty feet wide and ten shelves tall. Each one has a story, each has its own glory. You want to hold each in your hand. Any vessel you see would brew the perfect tea. There's splendor where you stand. Why don't you meet me down at the Blue Teapot Cafe? We'll share some tea and raspberry scones, maybe some pie of the day. We'll worry about the world and laugh about life and revel in our company. We'll enjoy a slice of heaven, you and me, down at the Blue Teapot Cafe. Down at the Blue Teapot Cafe. There are well-worn chairs, a ceiling of tin, colored glass in the window front. You toss out your cares as you settle in. The menu has all you want. Watermarks on tabletops, sweet tea that never stops, and folks doing good deeds. You leave the hustle behind, become one with your mind. The charm will satisfy your needs. Why don't you meet me down at the Blue Teapot Cafe? We'll share some tea and raspberry scones, maybe some pie of the day. We'll worry about the world and laugh about life and revel in our company. We'll enjoy a slice of heaven, you and me, down at the Blue Teapot Cafe. Down at the Blue Teapot Cafe, there's a little cafe in a little town, just off a little road. Thank you, well, Michael Paris, live here in the studio. What uh, what took you to Bailey, North Carolina? Uh, a friend told me about this uh, restaurant that literally has, has like several thousand teapots on the walls each side. Huh. And they're all pointing, um, the, the, the spouts are all pointing towards the door. And it just fascinated me. So I had breakfast there and wrote the song pretty much while I was sitting at a table there. And uh, I just I just liked it. It just appealed to me. You know, I thought Where I knew. Is, what town is this located in? Bailey. It's between Raleigh and Wilson. Uh, the restaurant doesn't exist anymore, which is really sad. Yeah, I thought I knew all of the places in North Carolina, having lived here my whole life and traveled all over the state, but I had to look up Bailey. And uh, Google Maps, the first thing when you type in Bailey, North Carolina, it takes you to the Bailey, North Carolina ABC store, because of course it does. <laughs> it's probably what, probably something that's needed. It's a necessity, yes. Or maybe it just knew me. So, Michael, you talked about a lot of songs I came out of your memories of West Virginia, and, and now you shared with us on this song, it just came pouring out is it common in your songwriting process for once you get you you're you're sitting somewhere and seeing all these images or you're thinking back and and revisiting your past that a song just pours out like that one sometimes uh i have one i'll do a little bit later that was like that but i have all different styles of i've i've written lyrics first with no music then found found the music i've played the music and let words just kind of start showing up and it's um i'll have a conversation with somebody and they'll say something it's like that's the title of a song. May I have that? And I've gone off and written songs just literally based on something somebody said. Um, when I was working, I, I ran a lot of projects, and uh, I asked one of my colleagues if she had any time to put on the timesheet. And she wrote back uh, her email only said, I'm pretty sure I got nothing. And I wrote a, I, I have oh, that's a, a, song. a country yeah. song that's kind of <laughs> like that. It's not a good, good one, but... You know, um, Michael, you are a great supporter of the local music scene everywhere I go almost I, I tend to see you there I, I, noti- I noticed that yes and now I'm realizing you might not be such a great supporter of the music scene maybe you're just stealing a whole lot of ideas 
I'm not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're not stealing ideas because you always ask. Every song that I write, I actually Google it. I make sure that I'm not stealing lyrics, and I try to make sure that I'm not stealing a melody. And uh, wow, okay, that's I'm really be glad difficult. I'm not the only person who does that. No, I'm, I'm a, a little bit of a computer nerd yet. So uh, well, yeah, and also as a as a writer, yeah. we write so much stuff. I'm like, this can't be an original idea. No, I do that. So I'm always all delighted the time. when it is. I do that all the time. Good yeah. for both of you. I have one song that will be coming up here and shortly, but. Um, when I heard the the words, it's like oh, somebody's written a song with that title, yeah. and I've gone on, online. It's like it doesn't exist. Yay! And it's shocking. Like, I know. It's just yeah. I played one here maybe a couple months ago called "Defying Gravity," and then then I saw on one of those American oh, Got it's Talent. Wicked. It's like a huge <laughs> song. No, it's from the <laughs> so, musical Wicked. So, so yeah. I need to get around a little <laughs> bit more. So that song has been gently retired. <laughs> It happens. Yeah, I've done that in my past, too. I, I rewrote a John Denver song when I was much younger, and I, I remember listening. It's like, that sounds familiar, and it's like, I was note for note, word for word. It was just the sound that oh, was in your head. Whoopsie. <laughs> I'm much better now. What do you got for us now? Um, this is one of my newer songs. Um, I'm always writing, but this one, uh, I wrote it. I go to Every August, I go to a, a mountaintop retreat in North Carolina near Little Switzerland, and there's uh-huh. a place called Wild Acres Retreat Center. And we meet, I meet up with about 11 other songwriters, 50 novelists and poets. And the songwriters, we write songs for three, four days, and then we do a concert for everybody at the end of the week. And, um, and each morning we get a prompt, and we can either use the prompt or do our own thing. I like using the prompts because it really takes me out of my, you know, my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. So this one was write a song where the verses start with a question and put it in three-fourths time. And so I, this is the song I came up with. And so... Uh, this is called Blue Satin and Starlight. And one of my other little things I've wrote, noticed recently, I, I have about a dozen songs in my repertoire that has the word blue in the title. <laughs> so apparently I'm a real blue freak, and that's just the way it is. So, And I'm sorry about using a iPad, but that's just the way it is these days. So, You're one of the cool kids. Thank you. I know how to use it. <laughs> Anyhow, this is Blue Satin and Starlight. you walk into my every day what did I do for you why come my way I do not need answers I don't need to know cause we dance with each other go toe to toe who would have thought that we could be as one Where has the time gone as we fly round the sun? Each day has a purpose, each night brings us home. I still can't believe I do not live alone. When I am with you, I go far back in time. When you stood in blue satin and starlight, heart with the fireworks was no longer mine why with great day that was what a great life this is still see you shine so bright in blue satin and starlight Blue sat 
mountain and starlight blue satin and starlight thank you Really pretty. Really Thank you. Pretty song. I'm always amazed when I can do a song with the iPad in front of me and still blow a line or a, <laughs> a, a chord, part of the chord progression. That damn iPad. Yeah. Again, it's telling me to uh, wear glasses. But so, Michael, uh, these are wonderful songs. Uh, have you done any recordings where people can go out and get a hold of your music? Well, I have a Reverb Nation page. That's pretty much the easiest way. That or my my um, YouTube channel. I can't believe I, I'm this age and I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Congratulations. But, thank and you. And it's just, so it's just Michael Paris? Mm -hmm. It is just Michael Paris for both, a Reverb Nation and uh, uh, YouTube. And it's P-A-R-I-S, just like this city. So, all right. Let me. Um, Paris, Texas. Is that what he means? That was a great movie. It was an awesome movie. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that movie. Never been to Paris, Texas. And that movie didn't want to make me go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Somewhere, I think my son has a a, a a town sign that says Paris, one of those little green ones. Right. Pa apparently, one of his friends picked it up for him. Ah. Somewhere, Good I don't. I, I don't even know what the, what state that was in, but it's kind of well, like. Don't go back to Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't like that. That's down probably there. a hanging offense. Do a little more tuning again. There we go. All right. This song, I don't know where it came from. Oh, good. Secret. It's called okay. Nice and Easy. And as I, in my dad humor, I always tell people that it has nothing to do with hair care. <laughs> so just saying. I hadn't done this song for a few years. And uh, uh, last, uh, at the beginning of the month, I was playing a gig with... Um, John Gillespie at the Common uh, Sacred Grounds Coffee House in Durham, mm -hmm. and I decided to pull this one back out, and uh, and I played it on my brand new electric twelve string Dan electric guitar. Oh, nice. it, it had this nice chiming sound. I was uh -huh. I was very proud of myself for that <laughs> one. And yeah, this is uh, nice and easy. Digging for a pebble in the river sand Skipping that stone across the water still And pull on, enjoying the feel of that earth in my hand Like being one with the clay on the potter's wheel Nice and easy, steady as I go Don't take much to please me I just lean on back and go with the flow My floppy your dog is running down the street Not a care in the world as she's sniffing along She bounds to a stop for a neighborly greed A scratch of her chin we know we all belong Nice and easy, steady as I go don't take much to please me I just lean on back and go with the flow There may be complications that defy simplicity And we cannot have Pollyanna ways We cope and we live We hope and we love 
We embrace what we have implicitly At the close of the day when I'm settling in Give thanks to the one who puts the light in me Composing myself to begin again Comfort in knowing that my heart is free Nice and easy, steady as I go Don't take much to please me I just lean on back and go with the flow I just lean on back and go with the flow Paris, live here in the Past the Hat studio. Michael, what is it that makes you write a song? Uh, partly because I have to. <laughs> uh, I just feel. I, I think I've, I understand that feeling. For the last few years, I've really geared my brain up to be always looking for a song. I just, I, I've something mm-hmm. I wanted to do all my life. It's just been the, maybe the past twenty years where I've focused any serious time on writing and. Uh, I just like the idea. I spent my whole life, working life as a research scientist, and music was always on the side. Mm-hmm. I even did a lot of technical writing and reports and et cetera. But uh, now it's just kind of like I like to write fiction. I like to write poetry and, and songs in particular. Um, mm-hmm. I like the idea of being a musician, too. And I just like, if I'm going to be a musician, I should have words that goes over top of my music. So, Fair point. Um, how did you come to be a musician? From that uh, technical and scientific background, was this something that was encouraged by parents, family members at a young age? Yes, but not for any um, artistic reason. Uh, I had a an accident uh, where I lost the vision of my eye when I, was, uh, when I was 12, and I had to give up sports. And so my mother decided I should be playing a guitar. So she and my father bought me a guitar that I could not play, where the, you know, it was like an that, inch above the frets. That'll show you. <laughs> but as time went on, I got a little better guitar. And my brother and I, I have a young, little bit younger brother, and we started playing at the church. And we had our own little rock band when I was 17. And How about that? Et cetera. So I carried it on through college. I was the itinerant folk singer, you know. I was a John Denver clone and mm-hmm. et cetera. But, um, and it just carried on always on the side. I played at the church for a lot of years, but... I, for I went about 20 years without hardly playing anything. I just played guitar at home. And when I, I'm telling my age, when I hit 50, it's like, it's like let's start doing something. So um, I've, had an, I've had a good 20 years here so far. Excellent. Well, Michael, we need to do some business at the top of the hour, but okay. we have plenty of time for a song between now and then, if you'd be so kind. This is one of my fun songs. I don't write many fun songs. They're usually, you know, I, deep and etc with in my opinion but i wrote this one with my wife traveling with me uh we were commuting to research triangle park from durham on a monday morning and we were on i-40 heading east and by the time i got to my office i had the lyrics written and i could hear the music in my head and that night i finished the song and um this is called monday daydream or also known as the pink umbrella song The weekend is done, it's a beautiful Monday Looking at the sun, going to my work day And everything is good, and I'm feeling A-OK I'm having a dream, I don't want to be inside Riding a sunbeam, it's time that I decide The paper pushing for me, I want to watch the tide So let's keep going east and we'll stop when we reach the sea. We'll walk on the beach just a day for you and me. Do I need to go in? I don't think they'll miss me. They walk in my shoes. I'm sure that they will agree and cheer me on as I satisfy my need to be free. So let's keep going east and we'll stop when we reach the sea. We'll walk on the beach just a day for you and me. 
I need a pineapple drink with a pink umbrella. My toes in the sand, I'll be a happy fella. We'll watch the waves in the shade of an old palm tree. And not think too much, it's a chance to be totally carefree. Well, reality sets in, time to make that right turn. No chance today of getting a sunburn. We'll have another time for this daydream to return. And we'll keep going east, and we'll stop when we reach the sea. We'll walk on the beach just a day for you and me. I need a pineapple drink with a pink umbrella. What a day for a daydream. Thank you, because I was hearing that song in my head fading into, what a day for a day dream. That's exactly what happened to me. And I just, <laughs> that is perfect. Yeah, We have a demographic uh, community that will understand that. Yes. So. Everybody, uh, we're enjoying our time tremendously here with Michael Paris. Uh, the show is Pass the Hat, and we are WHUPLP Hillsboro. That's our top of the hour call sign. And you can find us on whupfm.org. But, Bob, we are also uh, live video casting the show. And how do people find that? That's right. We are a TV station right now. So you can find the live stream, the high-def video married with the high-def broadcast audio of WHUP on all of your favorite streaming services. And your favorite streaming services are Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Find us at Whoop Ass the Hat at WHUP. Pass the hat. Mike, on that little table beside you, there is a box with a purple ribbon. Mm -hmm. If you would maybe hold that up and share it with the fine folks, and Bob will tell us about our Hour 2 sponsor. That's right. We do have a uh, second hour sponsor. Support for this second hour of Pass the Hat is sweetly provided by Matthew's Chocolates, 104 North Churton Street, Hillsboro, North Carolina, the finest in chocolate and chocolate accessories for all of your chocolate needs. And let's face it, we all, we all have, have chocolate, chocolate needs. needs. Matthew has a store full of chocolate right now. If you uh, have some last-minute Easter basket shopping to do, there's some truffles there, some nice bright-colored things. There was, uh, when I left there an hour and a half ago, there was one chocolate bunny left. Oh, I bet it's gone. It might be gone, but there was lots of good stuff in the store today. Y'all stop by and get the best chocolate there is. Okay. Well, Michael, uh, we had said that people can hear your music out there on Reverb Nation and YouTube, but what they really want to do is to see you play live. Any shows coming up? I have one on Monday evening um, down in Raleigh at the Flying Biscuit Cafe. Uh, Frank Pierce invited me to come yeah. down. And, oh, yeah. uh, He's been doing that for a while. Do a, do a set, so I'm going to do like a 75-minute set there. Nice. And then uh, the next one I have scheduled is, isn't until April 24th in Fuquay Varina at the Abbey Lane Tavern. And it's Songwriters in the Round. That's another one of those towns. In fact, I thought of it when you were talking about your previous song, uh, a few songs ago, about a town where the difference between the two towns was a sign. Mm-hmm. Fuquay Varina used to be one of those towns. I, I understood that. I, I, I had been to that town maybe twice in the past 24 years, and since the beginning of the year, I think I've been down there six times playing mm -hmm. songwriters in the wow. round. So it's I know be, it's, it's like, becoming slowly a hip town. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I love Hillsborough, by the way. I come up here probably three or four times a month now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Great, great town. But I'm not moving. We live in Durham, and we own our house, and I'm retired, mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, we'll just stay. Yeah. Durham is really a fantastic town. It if is you really... want the best restaurant of whatever flavor of restaurant you want, it's in Durham. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with the town, and I'm happy to be there. So It's a boom town now. I drove uh, yeah. down there to, um, I guess, to Sound Pure a couple of days ago, and just every time you go to downtown Durham, there's something has ex it, it, gone it, up. It's getting taller and taller and taller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, for sure. Michael, what you got for us? This is a song I wrote after watching a little documentary about a town closing up because the factory went away. And uh, this is called Ghost Gardens. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
She wished that April morning never came her way, never saw the light of day, just pushed on by to its tomorrow. She was not ready to receive that crushing blow, had to stop, she could not go, burdened down with the deepest sorrow. There was the day the factory died, they said things were good, they lied. So she got them all packed up, headed out into the night. And the last one through the door put out the light. Now the grass grows tall on the front lawn. A crimson rose still blooms in the bramble brush. Easter lilies in the weeds wait for resurrection. Hope for this town slipped out in a rush. Now nobody's home. To see the pretty flowers Growing lonely in ghost gardens Growing lonely in ghost gardens His suspicions all came true And surprise was never shown The foreshadowing was known Yet he prayed on for salvation how can you move on when you've given all you had? Your emotion is just sad as you survey the devastation. You might fall into a deep well. You climb out, for you cannot fail. So you do what you must do, and you go where you must go, and you travel up the high road. Not the low. Now the grass grows tall on the front lawn. A crimson rose still blooms in the bramble brush. Easter lilies in the weeds wait for resurrection. Hope for this town stepped out in a rush. Now nobody's home. To see the pretty flowers Growing lonely in ghost gardens Growing lonely in ghost gardens Growing lonely Thank you. More Michael Paris live here in the studio. These songs are just so visual, Kim. Uh, you know, I can I'm seeing like little movies um, playing with, with every song. Just very nice stuff. Thank you very much. They're entire scenes that you're walking us through. Well, thank you for that. One of my fun things in writing songs, I've written a number of what I call story songs mm -hmm. that tell a story, and uh, they're a little longer than most of my songs. Mm -hmm. I have one that's. It's almost seven minutes long. I've played it one time, you know, but uh, that, that'll be the, probably the last time. But I like writing that. that and it's just, um, I also write short stories. And that's something I've done off and on throughout the years. So it's kind of like a, a combination of the literary side and the music side. And I just I like that. So so can anybody find those short stories anywhere? Or are you just saving them at home? Uh, they're in development for a book. Nice. Excellent. Uh, I've, I have a... I have been working on off and on for years, and now I finally got myself organized better to do more intensely. But it's a, it will be a collection of about 25 short stories that all tie into a central story where each story stands alone, but characters interweave throughout the stories. So a little bit along the idea of Winesburg, Ohio by Sherwood Anderson. Mm -hmm. And um, it's I've talked with some uh, editor friends, and they're cheering me on and telling nice. me that when I'm ready, give them a call. And it's like... But thank you. That's great. Well, I, I, I have to warn you, if you become a published author in North Carolina, I think there is a state statute that says you have to move to Hillsboro. So plan ahead. Uh, I can maybe get a condo here. So I, you know, I can commute between Durham and Hillsboro. There you go. You look like you're ready for another song. I, I am. Um, we're talking about how to write songs. And this one showed up one night. I was sitting in my studio. just I was playing this chord. And just waiting for words. 
Sometimes in life you wonder where you are, where you've been, where should you go? Where to go? With a mind of somber views, you ask the questions, seek the answers. What should you know? What to know? How do you find your clarity? How can you see your reality? Take a step back. Trust in your heart. Your darkened skies will break When your will pulls them apart The fire deep inside Will brighten your way And show the broken trail To protect you from dismay Courage keeps you strong You will not fail Everything you ever needed Has been there from the start Take a step back Trust in your heart These days the world's in chaos Up is down, left is right How can you care? How to care? Will you make a difference Showing the truth Dismissing lies Why should you dare? Why to dare? How will you stand? straight and tall How can you climb that daunting wall Take a step back Trust in your heart Your darkened skies can break When your will pulls them apart The fire deep inside will brighten your way And show the broken trail to protect you from dismay Courage keeps you strong, you will not fail Everything you ever needed has been there from the start Take a step back, trust in your heart There are mysteries you cannot explain Your journey often seems to be in vain the grandness of the universe may make you feel too small You are not alone in this feeling known by all So take a step back, trust in your heart Your darkened skies can break when your will pulls them apart The fire deep inside will brighten your way and show the broken trail to protect you from dismay courage keeps you strong you will not fail everything you ever needed has been there from the start take a step back trust in your heart trust in your heart Your heart nice. Thank you. Michael, you shared with us earlier that some songs come out intact and then others either uh, you uh, have a little bit of a melody or you have some chords and you sort of those take a while. So as you're coaxing those sort of songs along, um, is it just unconscious how they evolve and come together, or do you look and edit things? I, I do edit, and sometimes I have to put a song down. I'll, I've written songs where I put it down and gone back five years later and finished mm -hmm. it. And uh, I've written about 150 songs, complete songs with lyrics and music. But I, if you look at my spreadsheets, I have about another 125 that are in various stages. It's just I get ideas and write them down, et cetera, and— uh, with the idea maybe someday I'll finish it. And every once in a while I'll pull some out and I will finish them. Bob, yeah. research scientist has spreadsheets of all. This, he, may, this is humbling one, to me. <laughs> first one who came in here and said, I've got a spreadsheet. And yeah. that just makes me happy because oh. as a pro pro product manager, my life is spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those things that I did a lot of um, besides technical writing for, on toxicology, et cetera. I, I did a lot of data analysis, et cetera. And I lived in spreadsheets. and. Um, I was sort of famous in our little company about Mike 
we'll help you with the spreadsheet if you need that. You know, but, <laughs> yep, somebody's got to be the spreadsheet jockey in the company. So, so now it's um, my my spreadsheets um, are in my computer for my songwriting, and it's just. I do color co- uh, coding with it. You know, I use different colored fonts. I fill those cells with mm-hmm. different colors so I can um, filter everything out. And uh, so, when you're editing these songs, what sort of things do you are you do you look for? I mean, are you or it could be all sorts of things. Well, one thing I had to break. I had this really bad habit of I would write songs, and if you counted the syllables. Which you know you want to do a lot, but uh, I would count them, and I realized that verse one, verse two, and verse three would have the exact number of syllables in each line compared to the, fir- the verse ahead of it, and it's like I was too regimented on that. So I learned how to not do that. So um, makes I, them easier to sing that way. That way you don't have mm-hmm. like yeah. like ten syllables, and you only get about six or seven of them in. Well, I think what we're dancing around here, Kirk, mm-hmm. is process. And yep. um, uh, yes, yeah, spreadsheets are part of the process. But Michael, do you have? Do you think you have a songwriting process? Is it anything that you could articulate? Is this is how I write a song? This is how it happens? Uh, you know, I, I mentioned about every summer I go out to that retreat, and we have breakfast, and the songwriters get together, and our group leader gives us a prompt, and we go off and write a song. We go off and write a song in two and a half hours, and come back with it. Mm-hmm. And I have written complete songs in two and a half hours. And I've performed with the same night in front of a hundred people. Yeah, so, so I've had daunting. that happen. That's daunting. But um, so w- you go in there. Someone gives you a prompt. Yeah. You have to. I I, I don't know what you do. How does that become a song? You, you, there has to be some way you uh, align your thinking. Um, well, the, one of the songs I did, my blue satin and starlight song. Got the prompt. We were in our little auditorium, and uh, after we got our prompt, George Ann told us to go out and uh, write a song. So as I'm walking out of the uh, auditorium, I had the title of the song. I had started a song years ago called Blue Satin and Starlight, but there were no lyrics to it. It was just an idea, and I knew that I was going to write it in three-fourths time, and that was part of the okay, prompt. Okay, so that helps. Things mesh so, together that way. So oftentimes I'll get something, and then I'll look through my spreadsheets and see if there's anything I started and if I should finish it. So... I hope to have a lot done in the next five years. Let's just say that this is my goal. Of, I'm trying to record a version of every single song that I've written. Well, I'm really digging this idea of the color-coded spreadsheet. So you have, like, I'm just visualizing this. You have uh, lyrics that haven't been given to a song yet, and they get a particular color or interesting turns of phrases here and uh, oh, and then entire verses yeah. there. Yeah, I, I think on my spreadsheet I have like 26 rows mm-hmm. or columns, 26 columns, so I can sort uh, songs if they're song in progress, song idea, right. complete song, etc. Um, tempo, uh, right. mood for the song, is uh, it'll say bittersweet or, you know, or minor key, go with that, you know, or something like that. So wow. that's like uh, your little relational database there thing where you can filter it down to a song or ideas or songs. Then are there like links that take you out to here's the song? It, it, uh, or is it baked into the spreadsheet? There? It's just baked into the spreadsheet. But I also have – I'm a uh, an electronic hoarder, <laughs> and my <laughs> computer has, you know, bazillions of files. All of the stuff. And um, – it's. I can't say that I could teach how to write a song. You know, it's one of those things. Like, well, here's what I did. You know, and Michael's scientific songwriting process. Well, this is this song that. Well, as we're talking about that. So, if anyone, if you ever become a songwriter, Bob Johnson, it will be because of spreadsheets. Amen, sister. Yep. What made you a singer songwriter, Bob? Excel. <laughs> um, this is one of the songs that came from the this retreat. And the the the, um, the prompt was, write a song that has a, the name of a town in it, and that was it. So as I'm walking, I'm thinking, have I ever done that? And I th- my first thought was, I've never written a song about my little hometown of Star City, West Virginia. So I wrote that song, and this is what I'm going to do next. Then nice. And I'm, uh, I'm I know some of my friends are probably laughing because I just detuned the ca- guitar to an open D chord. Which I'm like crazy man over for that kind of a sound. But anyhow, this is called Star City. And I'm probably going to look at the words the whole time on this one. So. He 
comes from humble beginnings, a place nobody knows. So simply existing, rarely winning. Should he stay? Can he go? He can be convinced there's a better world out there. But eventually, reality said people do not care. He marched out to that different drum, a beat that's all his own. He ran a road known to some, lonely, yes, but not alone. With the wind behind his back, he made it to a light. And that road did rise to meet him every day and every night. No matter what, he can't help where he comes from. He tries to put it all behind him, this place he can't outrun. The rearview mirror only holds it for a little while. And he knows his remain running down that broken mile. If wisdom comes with age, then he will see what he should see. He can go back as a shining star to shine, to shine in Star City. Small town doesn't have to mean small life. He once looked to home with small sight. He now has a grander view, and he has learned what he must do. His future and his past are looking bright. No matter what, he can't help. Where he comes from, he tries to put it all behind him. This place he can't outrun. The rearview mirror can only hold it for a little while, but he knows this heading down that broken mile. If wisdom comes with age, he will see what he should see. He can go back as a shining star to shine, to shine in Star City. And you can go home to Star City. Paris live here in the studio, almost making me want to go to Star City. Yeah, it's, almost. A, it's an okay town. I, yeah. I'm glad to visit it. And uh, you know, we thought one time, did we ever want to go back to West Virginia and have a, maybe a house there or something? It's like, it snows there in the winter, so <laughs> probably not. So you can visit in June, July. We, yeah, we could. And that's a good time to go because, I mean, it is a mountainous area. And, uh, there yeah, are I imagine just, the late spring is fantastic. There are no flat spaces in uh, in West Virginia. Mm-hmm. So uh, the joke is always that one of my legs is longer than the other because I'm always walking a, on, on a hill. Yeah, the cows have uh, two sets of legs longer than the other yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're there in the hollers. Down in the hollers. Michael, you don't have any kind of West Virginia accent, though. Did you leave that behind, or what happened? Uh, I never really had one. My uh, parents were both from Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. And that, that's where I think most of it came. Um, I have a brother-in-law that is from there, and he has a, he has a great West Virginia accent. He, and it's funny, he also could speak French, and he would do French with a West Virginia accent for us just to make us giggle and it's kind of like yeah that's pretty cool but. that's how I learned French in junior high school my junior high school French teacher was I think from Siler City and so we learned French with a southern accent yeah I can imagine that that's kind of interesting my yeah. daughter is learning it from a guy from Indiana <laughs> Indiana he went to Purdue yeah so yeah. Uh, she's not doing French anymore after this year that's yeah. his you didn't like the Indiana French 
accent? No. That's too bad. Yeah. So we good on time here, or what do, what do you need from me now? Um, we got time for that seven-minute song. Yeah, we're not doing seven-minute song. <laughs> um, but I do have another song that I can do. Oh, okay. we would very much love to hear your, your uh, next song. I think, I'm gonna, I think I'll do this one. I wrote this one sitting on a, a wooden front porch while a thunderstorm came rolling in. And um, <sighs> it's just, I don't know. Good time. What the inspiration for this was, but well, the uh, thunderstorm was the inspiration. It, it is, and I'm not a very political person when it comes to my music. I've written a couple songs that would probably make a couple people mad. Uh oh. The uh, views expressed in this song are not necessarily the views of Pass the Hat or Pass the Hat management. But this one is is very uh, is is not quite as um, it is not overt in any way. It's called When You're Lost. Where the way is rarely clear And everywhere illusions are too hard to believe The frustrations grow as we fight to see through fear There's a weariness with those who will deceive Those days when your blue beyond is chased away by gray When the rain strikes with fury and lightning owns the sky there's a quiet wish for wisdom To come and show the way To help us see the reasons To help us find the why When you're lost with a compass spinning round And the trail before you Might take you anywhere You wonder in the fog If you ever will be found is someone looking for you? Do they even care? When that road seems much too hard to climb, I will walk with you one step at a time. Each day we will hear a simple morning song A natural anthem that can rouse our spirits high It sings us a promise, though the journey may be long We will reach the destination only when we try We will hear that melody while rolling down that river Embrace that lullaby as it's floating in the breeze There'll be a glorious sound We will deliver As we're singing through the forest And dancing round the trees When you're lost with a compass spinning round And the trail before you Might take you anywhere You wonder in the fog If you ever will be found is someone looking for you? Do they even care? When that road seems much too hard to climb I will walk with you One step at a time I will walk with you One step at a time That is the Feel Good Sing Along song right there. Thank you yeah, very much. Is. Thanks, guys. That's very kind of you. You have been listening to Michael Paris live here on Pass the Hat. We're going to end the live stream here in just a few minutes, but remember to find Michael Paris on Reverb Nation and the YouTube channel. And you can see Michael Paris live at Flying Biscuit Cafe Monday evening, 7 o'clock, with um, um, Frank, Frank, Frank Pierce. Frank Pierce. 
That is going to be a fantastic show. Frank always puts on a good show over there at Flying Biscuit. He's been doing that for seven or eight years now. Yeah. Uh, have you uh, been out to the Flying Biscuit before? I've gone there listening to other friends uh, right. going, running around looking at for uh, live concerts like we do. Yeah, uh, I've gone down there and listened to some friends. Fantastic little venue. Great place to uh, enjoy some singer-songwriters. So uh, good luck there. And hopefully uh, a lot of our listeners head out there to catch you at the Flying Biscuit. That would be nice. Well, we're uh, reaching the point of the show where we're going to end the live stream. So you live stream folks, don't go away. You can still keep listening at WHEP FM. Or you can, at 104.7 FM, or you can go to whepfm.org, click the live button and listen live there. You can find us on the TuneIn app. But the live stream is going to be ending, and we're going to end this show with another 30 minutes of a playlist that Michael brought in. He's going to provide us intros and outros, and we're going to hear some of the music that Michael thinks you should hear or that and or that motivates Michael to do what he does. So this is the point, Michael, where you wave goodbye to the live stream. Real. Thanks, folks. Okay, we're